The action in Germany got underway on a drying track and turn one was immediately in full effect. Andreas Backwood was at his forceful best with this move on Kevin Eriksson. He went on to win and set the benchmark Q1 time. His teammate Ken Block had an easier run to the first corner and with very little track time under his belt managed to beat last year's winner Davy Genet. Block would finish the session an impressive P6 overall. Tanner Faust was back for only his second World RX outing of the year, getting reacquainted with the polo. He got a great start, but ran deep on the brakes at Turn 1, leaving Toppy Haken and clear to take the win, and set a time that would eventually secure him second in Q1. Solberg, Lope and Garley were WRC friends reunited in their race, and it was the current World Rallycross champion who came off worst in contact terms at the first corner. Hansen then made a mistake that would bunch up the top three, Solberg reacted by taking his joker, but last lap jokers saw the Peugeot duo still ahead at the flag. The key race in the championship saw the top two Ekstrom and Christofferson line up alongside each other on the grid. Christofferson played it safe at turn one, but Yanis Balmanis showed no mercy to Ekstrom and charged his way into the lead. The Latvian driver was on stunning form and crossed the line fastest overall in Q1 to take his first ever World RX qualifying session win. After a P12 in Q1, Petter Solberg needed to up his game in the second qualifier. And as usual, the champion provided the goods. Super committed on the brakes at turn two to secure the lead. He pushed as only he knows how and set the fastest time so far. Ken Block was up against all four Peugeots in his Q2 race, with French drivers Genet and Loeb making the early running. Loeb then ran wide at the bottom of the hill, leaving Genet to show he's lost none of his pace from last year at the Estering, knocking Petter off that top spot. World champion elect Extra was assisted into turn one by teammate Toppy Hakenen, giving him some extra space, while Johan Christofferson was shown no such courtesy by Andreas Backerud. Meanwhile, Ekstrom showed his intent to win this championship from the front, driving into the distance to set the fastest time at Q2, and with that, grab the coveted overnight top qualifier spot. I'm not the type of guy who can relax, and uh, I know the, my competitors. I have seen Johan, Peter, and Andreas, and love all the guys do a really big uh, fight back in the Sunday. So for sure it's a good day one, but as everybody knows, in rallycross it changes fast. If you are not P1, P2 out from the start, it's very difficult to... You lose too much time on the first lap. But, I mean, apart from that, uh, we finished both heat and, uh, yeah, running P6 overall and it's two heats to go. And, I mean, Sunday is my day, so we will see. Well, here are the standings after Q2. Championship leader Matthias Ekstrom with a great start to his weekend, along with Balmanis and Genet. Fantastic performances from them to be up in the top three. Solberg, Christofferson, Backward and Loeb. The championship protagonists are all up there. Ericsson, the two Hansons lower than normal. Ken Block just inside, but at the minute, Tim is Yarnov, Larsen, Markland, Rustad all missing out. Down to the final page, Tanner Faust on his most recent World RX outing, unlikely to make the semis.